People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Dargan versus Dargan. Uh, you all have been married for three years, and together you have eight children. Is that right? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Your Honor. Right? Now, Ms. Dargan, for the record, you are a successful recording artist, yep. writer, producer, and TV star who goes by the name Lil Mo. Yes, Your Honor. All right? And Mr. Dargan, you are a professional boxer and yes, are a Pan Am Games gold medalist. Is yes, that right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, Ms. Dargan, uh, you have petitioned this court for a lie detector test to uncover the truth. Explain that, please. Well, my intuition hasn't failed me before. This is my third marriage, okay? This is calls first. I don't want to get to a certain point in our relationship and it all go downhill. So I want to nip it in the bud right here, right now. I need clarity and I need closure. I think we owe it to each other to just get this behind us. We dust it under the rug, but if it's gonna continue to be an issue, then we gotta figure this thing on out, how we can move forward. Because we are in love, but baby, <laughs> you know, what love got to deal with it? Hello? So... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so your, your woman's intuition, your gut... Yes. ...is telling you there's something amiss. You know... When people see that you're making noise and they know that you're doing big things, they want to be a part of that. So even as much as a follow can be considered, like, flirting. Right. So I just want to make sure it's just nothing extra going on and that he's just telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help him, you, you know, your honor. All right. Basically. So, Mr. Okay. Dargan, you're here to prove that you've been faithful to her. Yes, your honor. Right? What do you want to tell her? Well, the internet, the media... Social media basically doesn't lie what a lot of people would say. They really doesn't have any proof of any, basically any, any of this. So she wants closure. And All I right. told her before, whatever she want to do to make her happy, let's get, it, let's get it done. All right, so these headlines that we see that Lil Mo's husband is cheating and all of that, mm -hmm. you're here to say that that's all false. Pretty much. There's no yeah, truth to him. He said no, pretty sir. much. That, that's not a yes or a no. Is it no or is it pretty much? Like, eh, some of it could be true. No, Your Honor. I have not cheated on my wife. So All right, I just want to be clear because when you say right. pretty much, I'm like... That could be a... Uh, All right. no, in, in my life, I always have my wife with me just so I can't even mistakenly or accidentally, <laughs> you know, fall into a, 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 a death trap. trap or something. <clears throat> but you would agree with me. You can't accidentally or mistakenly fall into another woman's bed. That's that's that. Oh, Child, half the stuff don't be in no bed. Yes. <laughs> you can't fall. You can't accidentally or mistakenly fall in nobody's back seat. People don't even make it to the bed no more. If you're gonna cheat, it's gonna happen wherever you at. And I just making sure it ain't happened where nobody was at. All right. So, Miss Darden. Yes. Tell me how the two of you got together. Take me back to the happy times. Well, we got time. No. We still have. Oh, we yeah, still have. Yeah, we got happy. a little time. Oh, yeah, no, we still have. But you know, every couple, every marriage has its issue. So we've known each other actually before my first marriage. So over oh. 15 years. Okay. So we've been before rocking. Before Little Mo's first marriage, not Cynthia's. Cynthia's. Yeah. This is yeah. Cynthia's first marriage. Yeah, that's a whole oh. thing. So, yes, okay. Little Mo was married before because, you know, I, I always wanted to, you know, the fa I grew up family. My parents have been married over 40 years. Okay. So that's all I know is family. That's my foundation. So that's what I've always been in search for. I never wanted the fame. I always wanted the family. So 15 years ago, his cousin, they had tried to book me for an event. That's when everything was popping. I was that girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody knew because I got the blue hair back, but I had the braids. So I was on the scene, and when he tried to talk to me before, because I am older than him, it's not a decade, but I'll say eight and a half, nine years, if you count, carry the one, 365, whatever the case. Okay. So, <laughs> we just been friends for, for every child that I've had born. So, it's like eight years. Uh, we have a 15-year-old, that's our oldest, and we have a baby that's two years old. So, in between oh. there, you know, there was a couple of marriages. But he's always been like that friend. If you need me, knock somebody out. I got you. So, my second divorce, as little Mo was basically almost done. And I wasn't looking, but I was just like, you know what? It's always good to have somebody that you can lean on and that got your back. Right. So the Ravens were playing. That was the year that they won the Super Bowl, so they were playing a game. But it was snowing. I had on my oh. fur, but I had on some cut-up jeans. So my arms was covered, but my butt was out. <laughs> okay. So he gave me the pants that he had on. So off top, oh. yeah. Yeah. So basically, he was Don't telling forget. me off top, I, I ain't never forget, he let me wear the pants in a relationship. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I've heard it given the shirt off your back. Yeah. But you gave the, the pants, pants off, off your, your bottom. Yeah. yeah, of course. At the end of the day, you know, fast forward, um, I was going to L.A. from Baltimore. I was like, listen, I'm leaving soon. I have to go out there for work. And, um, listen, you can hang in there or you can just... Like, what you want to do? I didn't give him an ultimatum because I was still healing. I wasn't hurting, but I was still healing. Okay. And with that, I was asking him, was he in any situations? Because I don't deal with married or men that are in relationships right. no more. Because I've done that before. And that's not cute. I have daughters, and at the she same time, me, I don't want them... I'm talking, baby. Because I'm just trying... Oh, to... okay. I'm not oh, trying oh. to be funky, but I'm just, like, trying to get the point across. Like, we've been rocking for years. All right, well, I want to hear from his side. Okay, you said that you didn't fall in love with Lil Mo. Yeah. You fell in love with Cynthia. Yes, sir. What did that look like? What, what is it about Cynthia that you like? Mm. No one has Cynthia. They don't know who Cynthia is. Wow. Who is okay. Cynthia? Tell us who Cynthia oh, is. Man. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that smile. No, oh. See, Cynthia the is, no, is the person under the wig. Oh! <laughs> okay, so Cynthia is the person behind the scene. So, Cynthia what, is what the kind mother, of person the, the is Cynthia? Wife, the mother, the wife. Cynthia is not an entertainer. Cynthia is not a singer. You know, Cynthia is a loving mother, a loving wife, you know, and she was basically, you could tell she was, she's about her business. And not by saying that, meaning she don't depend on anybody for anything. So she's used to being a superwoman. Right. It's like your song. Yeah. You live in, you live in the music. Yeah, so. So yeah. what is it about your husband, that one piece that's like, I can't live without this, that's about him? He's a pro he's very protective. I've never been protected before. Very like I'm about to yeah. How does it's, how it's, does he protect okay. you? Tell us about that. He just does, man. He just he just does. This is the first time in my life I could say I'm really genuinely authentically happy from mentally, physically, emotionally. My children are happy. So I'm not, I'm not, comp it's not for, up for debate. My happiness, right, and my peace at this point is not up for compromise. So we gotta get to the bottom of this, for real. So, okay, you need to be the protector, not only of her physically, but of her spirit. You don't wanna break her. Yeah. You don't want to break her. Mm -hmm. And even though she's little Mo and she got her thing going and all that, she's a woman named Cynthia. Mm -hmm. That's what you called her. And you need to protect that person because that person is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She can be your superwoman. In fact, I think she's being your superwoman. You need to be... <laughs> you need to be her superman so y'all can be super people together. Right. And with all these super kids. Right. Take me to the day when the first allegation of cheating hit. Okay, it was a couple of years ago. It was like in the summer, and I remember I was leaving my sister's salon, and he drove me there because he's my security as well. <laughs> like every, for real, every for move real. I make, like he's my secret service. You feel me? I got so, you. It was just like, um, we were coming out and he was like, babe, I need to talk to you about something. And he was like, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I said, oh, God, what? He was just like, here, look at this. He showed me his phone. He was like, my friend, one of his friends had said, look what's on social media. So I said, what's this about? He was just like, I'm gonna just tell you straight up. He said, I never did anything with her. He said, I should have not even had these conversations, but I left it at that. He said, as soon as I told her, you know what, this is wrong, I gotta, like, why am I even having these conversations with you? That's what, well, I'm gonna tell. And then it started getting to the point, well, if you give me money or whatever, I'll make this go away. But the headlines were saying said, Lil Mo caught her husband That was cheating. a lie. You that didn't... was a lie. No, I never caught him at anything because I don't look for anything. Okay. You but feel a, me? But a lot of blogs ran with this story. Of course they do. That's what they do. That's what I, they're on their job. But I'm just like, well, can I see what this person looks like? Then I went to their page and I said, this bag of laundry, look at... No, that's what we not gonna do. That's what we not finna do. Okay, so, I mean, we did our research. The court has done okay. its research and all these blogs reached 150 million people. Yeah. Oh, they all peaking. seeing your, your life playing out, allegations that your husband is cheating on you. Yeah. And I personally think I could have been with anybody in my life at, a at the time and it wouldn't have even expanded to that you know, to that level. But because but you're because with Lil Mo... Exactly, because, because... Exactly. So when you see these blogs and all that he's cheating, what do you say to your husband? 
I'm, I'll just ask them straight up, like, what's going on? Because we don't play those type of games, and my revenge is, mm, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> All right, so... So you gotta sting. So, okay. Okay, so she, when she comes to you and says, hey, I'm reading all this, all of this social media. What do you say to her? I'm always truthful. Okay. Whether, so, it, so... whether it whether it hurts you or not, I will always give my honest my honesty, and and the, the day I'll let y'all decide you want to deal with it or not. I don't just lie or finesse to make it sound good. Mr. Dargan, how do these rumors get started? Because they find out who I'm with, who I'm with. So. It's not because somebody sees you with somebody or somebody sees an innocent uh, contact taken out of context. All the time. I mean, we see these rumors I, all the time. I, How do they get started? I will tell you one thing. No one can ever say they saw me with anyone. All right, Mr. Dargan, let's just set the record straight. How many women have you had sex with since you've been married? Again, be... Uh, none. Mm -hmm. Like, again, like I said, like, she's with me 99% of the time. You know, and, and early in, like, in my life, I've been, I've been hurt before in my life. You know, my heart's been broken, so it took me a long time to, to gain trust in a woman again. Well, All right, so what so, you're telling the court is these rumors is not like somebody took something out of context. These rumors are just completely false. But here's a problem, love, and this is what I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. They were lifting allegedly lifting text messages between you and another female. What was that about? I mean, were they actually your no, text message this, or no. DMs between her? Oh, I can say one thing. A lot of my friends don't have social media. Associates. Because for... a, a, a couple of my friends doesn't have a social media, you know, so I'll let them go ahead and talk to people on my, my social media. But a lot of people know it's them. So are you saying to the court that the messages that were published were not your messages, but some of your associates' messages. Yes. How I look at it is like, yo, I'm putting you on. That's what yeah, I'm but, but do your associates know that your wife is little Mo yes. and that this could hurt her? Yes. And they don't care. Nobody, y see, y'all understand from my point of view. Okay. My point of view is the person, the female, no, it's not me. Are you so sure you, about that? Oh, yes. Here's a, no, no, no. But here's the problem. This female or friend A could take that and use it against you. What I told you. And them. use it against your and wife. That, and they did. Well, and what's to stop an associate, if he's already using your social media account, what's to stop them from taking the next step and pretending to be you? If using your social media account Hello? gets their play, what do you think actually being you is going to get them? Hello? Yeah. Clap. Clap. The reason why I say that, too, and I tell them, be careful, because everybody wants to be famous for some odd reason, but they can't handle what comes along with this with everything. Okay, so what does it feel like as a celebrity and then as a woman to be dealing with these allegations with your spouse? As I a celebrity, I'm used to it. But as a wife and because I care this time and because I'm passionate, it hurts. People think cheating is just the actual sexual contact or whatever oh, no, they no, say. No. Cheating is, flir is flirting. Because I can say, I'll be like, if I say, man, you look beautiful today. I'll be like, okay, Mr. Cutler, I see your shape up is popping. But then you, you keep it right there. Okay. But I ain't got no business sending that to you, no secret message. Right. right. What's the secret? Because... Because... No, 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 What's no, the I'm secret? Not... Lil Mo said my shape up is popping. <laughs> Lil Mo, you about to get him in trouble. You about to get him in trouble. Oh, no, 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 and then people always slide me a message. This one lady said, somebody was just like, hey, pay me this amount to make it go away. I said, well, you should have got some money if you was allegedly with him, whatever the case may be, because you ain't getting a dime from me. You ain't got no FaceTime calls. You ain't got y'all laid up in the bed because you know that's what they do now. You close your eyes for two seconds, you all over the... Oh, he fell asleep in this thing. Yeah, okay. All right, now so... I always tell him, if you, want, if you can get him, you can have him. But be sure you can handle these bills because it ain't even him you got to deal with. You got to deal with all us. His oh. family, my family, these hands, this heart. Next time on Couples Court with the Cutlers. It got to the point somebody said they was pregnant by him, and I said, well, where's this baby at? I'm still waiting to see the baby. Why are you waiting to see the baby if you never slept with Hello? God? I'm going to see. They must know something I don't know. Did you send her pictures of you? Pieces of me. Okay. <laughs>
That's a, a story the blogs just take and run with. People are just fascinated by celebrity cheating scandals. So a story like the Dargans, how did that get started? Uh, that started through a tip. I used to be out here dealing with multiple women. I'm, you, I'm, I'm basically, I was a thought. You asked Mr. Dargan, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife that she doesn't know about? 